another voltage source is needed to measure the outputs output characteristics a voltmeter dce to measure the collector emitter voltage and then a milliammeter to measure the collector current how the circuitry is all wired in in this design this shows the vbe the input voltage which is measured in volts a micrometer to measure the base current a milliammeter to measure the collector current and another voltmeter to measure the collector emitter voltage the transistor is shown here so this is a this is the transistor whose emitter is indicated by the arrow mark shown outwards for an npn transistor this is the base part of it and the collector is here so the board is plugged in and the switch is on the board is also switched on now let us vary the base emitter voltage by using this potentiometer or this variable voltage now as i move this the voltmeter so registers some current but before this let us ensure that to study the input characteristics the output voltage namely the vce is fixed at 3 volts or 4 volts or 5 volts let us choose 3 volts and then study the input characteristics by changing the input voltage as 0.1 0.2 etc etc each time noting down the base current microamperes already the readings are noted down i will show you on the board <coughs> initially the vce is increased to 3 volts so the base emitter voltage is increased to 0.1 volt as you can see here 10 divisions correspond to 0.2 the five divisions will correspond to 0.1 now the base current is zero next base emitter voltage is increased to 0.2 and the base current is once again zero for 0.3 0 again 0.4 0 again 0.5 then 0 0.6 now we see that there is a current available in the base ammeter that is micrometer It's almost six or eight microamperes because ten divisions correspond to twenty. Each division will be two microamperes. It's so one, two, three. Three divisions means six microamperes. So point six volts, it's six microamperes. Let's move it over to point seven volt, and the current is now. nearly 60 microamperes so this reading has to be changed to 60 microamperes so seven readings are enough to plot the input characteristics graph let us move over to the output characteristics graph 